Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Gargoyles the Movie The Heroes Awaken. Gargoyles the Movie The Heroes Awaken is a 1995 direct-to-video slash television release. It was on both. It is directed by Saburo Hashimoto, Takamitsu Kawamura, and Kazuo Torada. All three of them I've covered in the video about the Return of Jafar. The links will be in the description. The animation checker, which is the highest supervising role I could find was Elias McCute and he is best known for Happy Feet, The Angry Birds Movie, A Goofy Movie, and this. The film was edited by Susan Edmondson who is best known for A Goofy Movie, Party Line, Lunatics Unleashed, and this. The music is by Carl Johnson who's best known for Skyfall, The Perfect Storm, The Magnificent Seven, and Wind Talkers. The film is written by Michael Reeves who is best known for Batman the Animated Series, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, Star Trek New Voyages Phase 2, and this. I'm about to butcher so many names and for that I am extremely extremely sorry. The film stars Keith David, Sally Richardson, Jeff Bennett, Frank Welker, Ed Asner, Bill Fagerbake, Tom Adcox Hernandez, Jonathan Frakes, Marina Sirtis, and Clancy Brown. Keith David plays Goliath and is best known for The Princess and the Frog, They Live, The Thing, and Armageddon. Sally Richardson plays Elisa, Alyssa, Maza, and she is best known for Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid. Eureka, I Am Legend, and Black Dynamite. Jeff Bennett plays Brooklyn, Magus, and Owen, and is best known for Enchanted, The Penguins of Madagascar, Johnny Bravo, and Legend of Korra. Frank Welker plays Bronx, and Ed Asner plays Hudson, both of whom I've covered in previous videos. They will stay linked in the description. Bill Fagerbake, Fagerbake, I don't know. I don't know, plays Broadway, and he's best known as being Patrick Starr in everything that is SpongeBob SquarePants. Tom Adcox Hernandez plays Lexington, and is best known for Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, Young Justice, Young Justice Legacy, and this. Jonathan Frakes plays Xanatos, and he's best known as being Riker in everything Star Trek. Marina Sirtis plays Demona, and she's best known as being Troy in everything Star Trek. Clancy Brown plays Haken, and he's best known for the Shawshank Redemption, Starship Troopers, Thor Ragnarok, and Warcraft. He's also known as Mr. Krabs in Spongebob, or he was just Hank in Detroit Become Human. He's been around. The film is the first five episodes of the entire show. It's five parts, Awakening Part 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the episodes were released in 1994 when the show started, but the direct-to-video movie, edited all together, was released in 1995, hence why I'm covering it now, not before. Um, it received okay reviews. It had two out of four stars. People thought it was meh and everyone said it owed Batman the Animated Series for its ability to even be a TV show. Okay so this movie kind of surprised me actually. For all of the movies I've watched that have been like the first four episodes, the first five episodes, the first whatever episodes of a television series be it DuckTales, Chippendale, Tailspin, whatever it's been that I watched the first five episodes, Earth Star Voyager, the first five episodes of, um, I haven't been as invested. It's been a continuous story, but it hasn't been, like, each episode truly feels like its own singular episode in the cases of all the rest. This actually didn't, I mean, it did feel like a singular episode, but at the same time, I was very shocked every time To Be Continued came up. I was not, it didn't feel like the ending arc of an episode. It genuinely was a cliffhanger To Be Continued in every situation. The only thing really making it feel like episodes was the fact that it would go previously on next time and the intro sequence. If they had been together, I wouldn't have noticed. And I was actually, because I think maybe because I've never seen Gargoyles, I have never seen it in my life. I just knew the theme song that I was able to get a little bit more invested maybe? I don't know, but like I love DuckTales and stuff, but the like sequential movie stuff they tried to do that wasn't actually movies uh, didn't really sell. It was just felt like I was watching episodes where this, I was, episode three, I would tell you, was my peak investment. There was a plot twist in episode three and there was a really great cliffhanger in episode three and I found myself being genuinely invested. Like I wasn't having the urge to like look at something else. I was really like, what's gonna happen? How are they gonna start working with the detective? How are they gonna start being like heroes in the modern world. I was invested in their like origin story. It was really fascinating to me and it kind of made me want to keep watching to see if they answer more questions like how did 
gargoyles come to be. I don't like, you know, I have no idea. And uh, I really liked Goliath. I liked that he was such like, a, I want to do right by both races, not just for gargoyles. And it was amazing. The plot twist, I'm going to spoil it. So y'all better be prepared. The plot twist was finding out that Demona, his love, uh, was actually alive and we thought she had been crushed, but it's Shade Town. I don't know if she was actually alive. And she was so evil and I saw that coming. She had a personal vendetta against humans while Goliath was like, no, we can coexist, coexist with humans. Well, that was so good, that plot twist. I was like, oh, because I knew she was going to be bad. And then at the end of episode three, He's like getting injured and is gonna turn back into stone in the middle of like a fight and oh, so good. <laughs> I really liked that aspect of it. I don't think it was like anything amazing. I get why it got mixed reviews, but for the most part, I was pleasantly surprised. I honestly might keep watching the show. That's how much I was like, this is pretty decent. Like this is pretty good. So I might actually continue watching the show. I'll keep you guys posted on that because um, I thoroughly enjoyed the first five episodes. I thought they were excellent. That's everything I have for Gargoyles. You can watch this on Disney Plus. The first five episodes are Awakening Part 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It was excellent. I might keep watching the show, seriously. I'm not lying about that. I think I'm gonna give it six Gargoyles out of 10. It's getting an average score because of the technical stuff, but otherwise I really did like this. I highly recommend it. Our total movie count is Parent Dutzel and Craig Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join my Patreon. Lots of stuff going on over there. I'm finally getting a couple more requests, so we'll be able to do that bonus stuff. Yeah. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and don't know who you are, so you do, and don't be Demona or Xanatos or Haken about it. We have a visitor in the room. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. Um, he was being needy outside. So he's in here. Are you being needy? Are you being needy?